Welcome to the Chris Town Podcast. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Don. I'm IT Explosive One. Let's crack into another one. TNT. Yep. Um, you know, we all know that Texas is not known for its most accepting ways. Austin's pretty accepting. The rest of Texas, maybe not. Uh, tolerance it seems to be an issue. Mm-hmm. And when I say tolerance, I mean just tolerance of anybody wanting to do what the hell they want to do anybody with their life. Not white. Oh, ow, man, come on. <laughs> it's, not, it's not always about that. Uh, I just say it's like anybody wanting to do. It seems like Texas has a problem with uh, people's right to choose a lot of different things. Yeah, yeah. Not yeah. just racial pr- things, but yes, those as well. So uh, there's, there's, a, there's a place called Big Earl's Bait House and Country Store. Okay. Uh, I like that. Pittsburgh without an H. Texas. Oh, wow. I want to go there right now. So a couple of uh, queer men decided to go there. Okay. You, you and who? You and, <laughs> yeah. You and who else? Uh, Colin Dewberry and his partner, Kelly. <laughs> you just told everybody your real name. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> Why would you do that? It's about a random occurrence. Colin. Uh, he said everything went fine until they went to pay their check. He said, after I paid her... Her, <clears throat> she just seemed to drastically change. Mm-hmm. She she said, Big Earl, the owner, explains what happens next. Uh oh, what does Big Earl have she to say? She told him the rules are on the door, and it says, Welcome to Big Earl's, where men act like men, women act like ladies, no saggy pants, and we reserve the right to refuse service to anybody. So that basically tells me. We don't like gays. We don't like black people, and like we refuse to serve. And if if you don't fit that category, we still refuse to to not serve you. Oh uh, man, the whole saggy pants thing, man. Yeah, and that's that's unfortunate. So she, what did they do to the the couple? That, they nothing. they left. They were like, oh, yeah, yeah they were, they had already eaten and stuff. But it was, I think, uh, yeah, yeah, that was it. Dude, I probably would have refused to pay. I mean, what was going to happen then? They would call the cops? Uh, yeah, you probably have to pay. You do have to pay. Services rendered, right? Yeah, I would call the Better, better Business Bureau, maybe. But yeah, like I just thought it was very interesting. They like, Ooh, you could sue. That's like a it, civil suit. What are you going to say? They were racist? They were gaysist? Yeah. It ain't, it ain't illegal to be gaysist. It's wrong. It ain't illegal. Uh, and that was if you're not big. performing a hate crime. Look, brother, we live in America. You can sue for anything. I mean, if she would have walked it, up and said, and if anybody hey, you just, slurs, punch him in the face, get the F out of here, that would have been an assault and a hate crime. Look, you can be sued for anything in this country, and if anybody deserves it, it would be somebody acting like that Homophobic, asshole. Homophobic, bigot, bigot, bigotry, whatever. Okay, then. Okay. I mean, I agree. I think that's what the, the laws are put there for a reason, and I'm sorry, but it's because if you don't fall in line with the rest of us, you're going to get your I ass mean, sued. I don't disagree. With you at all, I think homophobic and racist people should go to jail. There you but, go. But it's not illegal. Like, they can't. It's, it's not, not. But it's a civil suit. I don't think that's true. I don't know if it is either. Yeah. But I'm pretty if, sure if they, it is. If they, if it's a hate crime, yes. Like, you can, you can, if they can perform a crime, just calling you a slur or kicking you out because you're gay does not constitute. You know, you know, it it is illegal in some countries to have like those public displays of hate speech like that. I wish like, that would be here. Okay. I wish we would make it illegal that you couldn't just. Nah, uh, that'd be taking away yeah. our first amendment. Right? So uh, the next thing yeah. you out here talking bad about Biden? You got a little woke there. You 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 woke up so much you took a nap. <laughs> I was so awake. He was like, that needs to be here. Wait a minute. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> what about my guns? <laughs> <laughs> what about my other hate that isn't wrong? All right. So, look, man, that's real That's real sad what happened to them gay dudes and all that. My problems with the whole <laughs> saggy pants thing. What is it, Jonas? Tell me, Jonas. Tell me with your white mind <laughs> what is the issue with the pants Let me thing. connect to the mothership's Please. neural link so I can get the, all the data from the high Please mind. contact the Caucasian mothership I th- and <laughs> ask them. Please. I'm attaching my neural link right now. Give Thank me just a you. second. Um, they might know beep, I'm here. Beep, I'll be really beep, quiet. Beep, 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 beep. Jonas is contacting the mothership. <laughs> silence. 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 Do, do. <laughs> 
Hello? Uh, <laughs> hurry? Hey. Hey, Tina? Is that you? This is a I'm on vacation. <laughs> anyway. This is a terrible bit. Yeah, I know, right? <laughs> um, I, I honestly, I really think that the, the pro problem people have with saggy pants is some people just don't like to look at people's underwear. I think it's as simple as that. So don't look. I... I don't mind at all. I mean, I like I like my pants to be a little low sometimes. Too. I okay. So look, here we go. Here we go. I'm gonna say it. Here we go. I'm gonna say it. Here we go. I think that sagging your pants is the equivalent to a girl having cleavage. Uh... Because yes, it makes some people uncomfortable. But why? Because they have the problem. She's just living her best life. I'm just walking around with my pants, you know, and I'm not even necessarily me because I don't sag, but I still have a problem with people having a problem with it because it's a clothing choice. That'd be like me having a problem with women wearing open toed shoes and being like, I don't, you know, I don't, <laughs> I don't oh my really, God, her toes are out. What I can see her feet and I just think that's disgusting and I don't know. Come on. Shut the, stop it. Stop looking. Stop looking at the girl's tits. Stop looking at the guy's underwear. Keep your eyes straight the fuck forward and mind your business. If you don't like sagging pants, then pull your shits up and wear a belt. I don't. If I want to wear mine around my fucking ankles, I'm going to do that. That'd be funny. It would be funny, but I'm not going to. Um, I really, I think in Big Earl's case, it was a racist thing, though. I don't think I don't think it was about sag. It wasn't about sagging I mean, pants. It didn't specifically say no black folks, <laughs> <laughs> no gays, he no got Jews. About as close as he could to saying it without saying it. Though. He said, "Man gonna act like man, ladies gonna act like ladies." No sagging pants. No sagging pants. He was like, "What statement can I say that will blanket the most people with the littlest amount of trouble?" <laughs> like, right. so I can make sure. Right? Yeah. You said no yarmulkes. Like, yeah, what do you? Yeah. What's the next thing on the list? Like, right, yeah, I'm just right. saying, no yarmulkes, yeah. no right. headwear. Exactly. Yeah. No, we banned hats. <laughs> That's how they always get it. No, no hats. <laughs> that like at clubs downtown, they're like no shorts, no backwards hats, and I'm like, no backwards hats. What is Fred Durst coming to the here, here club tonight? You know what Fred Durst here? You're afraid you're going to do break something tonight and they're going to tear your shit up like they did Woodstock 99? Shut the fuck up. I'm sorry. I'm on one today. You are. I drank. This is my second cup of coffee. You coffeeed up? This is what you oh, like? Oh, yeah. So you like at work? No. No, I drink less coffee at work. <laughs> I'm good, though. Let's go. Yeah. Keep it going. Yeah. What's the next statement? <laughs> Say it. Make it happen. What's, the, what's something else op opaquely know. racist you can think of? Best. <laughs> What's the next statement you can think of that blatantly s singles out a whole you know, racial sect? You know, you know what I hate? You know what I hate, Jonas? Uh, yeah, let's get it. It's hard for me to tell. It's hard for me to tell if a person is trying to say something funny when, like, they say hi to you. will be like, oh, yo, what's up, Antoine? Yo, yo, yo. When they, how many people say yo, yo, yo to I don't you? know, man. People say it sometimes. They'll be like, yo, yo, what's up, Dynamite? Yo, yo. And I'm like, why are you saying yo to me? I don't even say yo. I say yo all okay on the, on the videos. I say yo, but I don't say yo. Say yo yo yo, it's your boy. Every I time don't we walk say in, say yo yo yo, it's your boy. Every time I never we walk that. into any place together, I never go to karaoke. You're like yo yo yo, the <laughs> boy's here. That's my problem. Like I don't know. Or like you look at me and you're like, oh, it's a black guy. Let me say yo 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 to him because that makes sense. Shut. The, you don't even know. It's not even what kids are saying tonight. Like, Sheesh. <laughs> <laughs> what's the uh, What's the one about the yeah? When you walk by, they get you. <laughs> I'm never telling you anything cool ever again. <laughs> I'm never, never going to do it. No more skibbity toilets. No more gats. No more Rizzlers. Dude, I like the Rizz. You will never people, hear another I, baby gronk from me. I asked somebody the other day how many glizzies they can throw in a day. How many glizzies you throw in? They thought it was funny. We laughed. <laughs> That's a Chicago thing, man. They they uh, they love their glizzies out been there. From there, because they knew what I was talking about. He wasn't from there, but it, it's, it's made its way around because it sounds. Everyone knows what a glizzy is. If you don't yeah. know, you don't know. But it sounds a little like it's phallic? too it's too close to glitter. You know, glizzy sounds phallic. It sounds it sounds like fruity phallic though fruity phallic like i like when i think of a glitz like if you never told me that a glizzy was a hot dog and you said hey dynamite what's a glizzy i would think of like a glitter banana 
<laughs> That's what I see in a my head. Glittered banana. Yeah, it was, like it was a still gl- phallic though. It, like, yeah, like a, I think of like a glitter banana, a glitter banana with like a Snickers dick vein in it. Oh, what the... And that's what I think of when I think of Glizzy. You are on something tonight. Completely out of context. That's... Yeah, the, the Snickers vein really did it, <laughs> did it for everybody. <laughs> the Snickers vein. The Snickers dick vein. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah get it no, right. get no it, I got you. Anyways, go to thecrazytown.com <laughs> on that one for Jonas. How many more we just got to do tonight? Uh, <laughs> we out. <laughs>